When it comes to what type of equipment and accessories are needed to go along with your setup, storage can sometimes get overlooked. Why this can be quite a mystery because you need to put your raw video somewhere. Not properly planning for your storage needs is akin to a painter not getting enough canvases or ones that are too small for their needs. That all being said, there are many different options available for digital storage and they can be just as varied as the cameras you're shooting on. Today, I'll be going over three different types of storage you can use with your Pocket 4K to improve your stockpile and not get caught with your pants down mid-shoot. As always, make sure to subscribe below and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all of our content. As mentioned before, there are three types of digital storage available for the Pocket 4K. Those are SSD, Secure Digital, or SD, and finally a variant of Compact Flash known as CFast. Let's jump right into what each of these are. The first one I'm gonna cover is CFast, which is the storage style that automatically comes with this Blackmagic camera. As previously stated, CFast is a variant of Compact Flash, which was a very popular style of storage for gaming when it was first introduced. A good example of this for all of you nostalgia buffs out there are those eight gigabyte memory cards that you needed to save your game progress on both the original PlayStation and PS2. The use of this style naturally expanded into other facets, including videography and cinematography. The appeal is mainly in its compact design. As far as the Pocket 4K is concerned, even though it is what comes standard with the camera, for many, that's about where its usefulness ends. For the amount that you have to pay to get extra storage in this format, the size of that storage is horribly lacking. Being that many of the codec settings on the camera automatically create some pretty large file sizes, this is obviously an immediate issue. A quick search through some random forums that covers these topics, you'll probably see most users are not really big fans of the storage. Of course, if CFast is the way you prefer to go, that's totally acceptable since you essentially start with that anyways and is good in a pinch. They are usable, but just not the best option if you're trying to build up your storage. If you've already built up your CFast library and you already have the cards available, for sure, just make sure that they're compatible with the camera and you won't have any issues. Next up is the type of storage many of you probably walked into this video with some knowledge of already, SD cards. Developed by Panasonic and Toshiba in concert with SanDisk, these little guys are considered industry standard nowadays for most digital storage needs. You can see ports for SD cards automatically built into lots of devices, not just cameras, that we all use on a day-to-day -day basis, such as laptops and smartphones. SD cards came to prominence back in the early 2000s when a lot of different technologies were going through what seemed a constant, rapid evolution. When it comes to your Pocket 4K, the ease of use and performance of SD cards are pretty parallel to CFast. The biggest differences you're probably going to see is the pricing. Since SD cards have permeated the market for almost 20 years at this point, they tend to be much more affordable. This fact is pretty attractive if you are one of those types of people who need decent storage in a compact size. Now, I will say for SD cards, you do have to be careful because there are some limitations with this camera on them and you have to buy the higher speed ones. And I've included some links in the description as well as Blackmagic's um, site that has some of the information as well. Finally, let's take a look at what seems to be most users' favorite storage, SSD. This type of storage uses flash memory and is something you usually see people use as secondary storage, the computer's internal storage. One of the big differences with SSDs compared to SD and CFast is that SSD is an external storage unit while the others are compact cards. The SSD pricing is pretty comparable to SD pricing in the future. With the nature of how SSDs operate though, you will get a lot more available storage for the price than with either of the other storage car styles. There are some problems associated with using SSDs, however, and it can result in a loss of footage if you're not careful. Make sure you're using a durable cable that it is compatible with the hard drive you choose. I've added some links in the description to some good cables to use. Another good idea is to only use 500 gigabyte SSD drives and not fully max them out. Sometimes maxing out SSD cards can lead to full hard drive failures and having smaller bits that you record on can help to save you if something goes wrong. Always dump your files as soon as possible when using SSDs or for that matter, any of these storage methods. Being prudent and cautious will save you when an inevitable loss of data occurs. So, which are the best storage options? If you find yourself searching through the available options for CFast, SD, and SSD, I'm sure you notice that there are 
lots of different ones. Because of this, there is no way I would be able to go through all of them here. There are a couple of great lists available through sources such as 4K Shooters and New Shooters. And of course, Blackmagic Design's website gives you a much more comprehensive look as to what third-party products will work best with your camera. As with everything, the best choice comes down to what your needs are and what you like the best. Feel like I missed something or said something wrong? Please let me know in the comments below so we can correct it. Thanks for watching today's episode. Be sure to subscribe to our channel below and hit the notification bell to keep up to date with our latest videos. Until next time, this is John Owens with Frame Voyager.